Now, <coughs> it's, uh, it's often remarked just how much some people look like their pets. Now, this can be a kind thing if the pet is an attractive cat, or an unkind thing if the owner is, say, Francis Greenslade. Well, right now we're going to meet some pets and their owners and test this theory out. Now, this is Jar Jar. As you can see, Jar Jar is a beautiful, beautiful French poodle. And this here is Mr. Stephen Maguire, an oxy welder from Port Addis. <laughs> Stephen, if I can call you that, how do you feel about these owner pet comparisons? Oh, you know, some people say we look alike. Uh, I can't see it myself. <laughs> what do you think at home? Do they look alike? It's a rhetorical question, obviously. Please don't write in. I haven't got time to, to answer it. <clears throat> well, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, Steve, the comparisons are unfair and very, very unkind. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what about the flip side, those owners who are, are accused of not looking like their pets? Kirk Fleming here is an unemployed neurosurgeon from North Baldwin. <laughs> and this here is Tweeter, his budgerigar. Kirk, what sort of reaction do you get when you walk down the street? Uh, none. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, I'm very rarely stopped and uh, told that there's any similarity between myself and my budgerigar. Yeah. And, and what do you put that down to? It's just a, a freak of nature, I suppose. <laughs> Right, well, there you have it, and, and the fact that, um, you know, when I go out, the, the budgerigar stays at home <laughs> in right. its cage well, they, in the perch, or locked in the toilet sometimes. Well, well, I, they, might, I might get a beak grafted. <laughs> well, there you have it. People who look or don't look like their pets, as the case may be. And oh, that should have come down uh, initially. Um, that, that, that should have... Um... <laughs>